Hello and welcome to From the Trailhead. I'm Nick. Thanks for joining me. I'm here today with my wife and my dog. We're at uh, Goddard State Park. We're going to be doing a couple trails today and uh, we're going to take you along and see what we can find. All right, so we made it to the Goddard McKeever Trail. Oh, it's thick back here. A little decent hill here to get that blood pumping. Giant vine there. We just crossed Patton Road on the other side of McKeever Goddard Trail here. A little more wide open, not as grown over. Nice little swamp area there, perfect for mosquitoes. Another shot here of a tulip poplar flower. So we're heading back down to the car here. We parked at the dam. Not real impressed with this trail. A lot of multi-floral rows everywhere just jagging your legs all over the place. So we're going to head over to Fall and Run. All the smells. Spider web in the face. Pretty neat little waterfall there. This plant here is called false hellebore. It's in the lily family and it blooms uh, once every other year. These are the flowers, they're greenish in color and very inconspicuous. The root of this plant is highly toxic. If you eat just a little part of it, you will actually die. So it's very, very poisonous and not recommended to eat. It grows a lot along these wet stream beds and things like that, so this is the prime habitat. So this is the root end. This has a little part on the bottom of it. I just, this was picked the other day. I didn't just pick this. Um, but that's the poisonous part. So don't eat this plant. Sometimes when they come up early, they might look like other plants. They might look like the beginning of an onion or a cabbage or something, but do not eat this. It's false hellebore. 
So this is a Christmas tree fern. The way I remember that is that this looks like a little stocking. Can you see this little point here? Oops. On the edge of each little frond there is a little pit tip that looks kind of like a stocking. That's a Christmas tree fern. This one growing up in the middle of it is actually a field fern. So we have that there too. And even without seeing the presence of a stream, when you start to see these plants come about, ferns and mosses and things like that, you know you're getting close to water. So if you're ever in a situation that you need water, try to find a lower area in the woods um, and try to find these plants and you'll know you're getting close to water. Making our way back down to the car here. So that's all we have for you today. Real quick short hike before the rain comes in. And until next time, I'll see you at the next trailhead.